Joe, Lisa with the Draco. I'm back with another video. Uh, so I want to talk a little bit um, about like uh, just something that's been popping up in the YouTube world, I guess, over the past week or so. So I guess it starts off with Legend of Winter dropping a video about um, John Stockton being overrated. And I guess I'm bringing this up today because a lot of people don't tend to not agree with that survey. Um, so, as somebody who's like probably on that John Stockton's overrated trend himself, uh, it's more so like of a skill thing for me. Like, I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of people who don't necessarily like get to that next level of shot creation to where what defenses throw at you don't really matter like when, like if a defense can affect how you score it's kind of detrimental to the team in my opinion because it limits you especially as somebody who has the ball on their hand which is where the point guard is essentially um i feel like a lot of instances especially when it came to playoff time john stockton couldn't create his own bucket why he couldn't create his own bucket from observation and from what I personally seen throughout John Stockton, it was just as simple as he couldn't do anything on the left side if it didn't come with a Carl Malone pick and roll, which kind of, in a sense, it's also expanded his game because before it was just like get the ball down the block to Carl Malone, but then you can just double somebody down low and then now you need your guard to do more creation but instead of relying on john stockton to be more of a shot creator they implemented the pit fundamental pit fundamental like principles of the pick and roll into their offense shout out jerry sloan one of the goat coaches and again i've already told y'all i'm a guy who's a big fan of coaching scheme um just like how coaches adjust and adapt to the shit that they go through so I feel like that was what, like, essentially more or less hid John Stockton's weaknesses of being a creator when it came to putting the ball on the rim. And it allowed John Stockton to, I guess, become the playmaker assist guy that he's known for in everybody's definition, which I guess is what puts him in people's top three point guards. To me, off the bat, I would never put him top three. I wouldn't even put him top five. I can comfortably say that. I know for sure Steph Curry, Magic Johnson, and Chris Paul are better. Easily, right off the back. That's still Mount Rushmore three for point guards. And then, like, pretty much over there, it's a toss-up between, like, the next five or seven guys. But within the next five or seven guys, I'm probably not naming John Stockton to, like, the eighth guy. Like, if you ask me personally, Kyrie Irving or John Stockton all time, at this point, like, especially with the way how I view things, I'm taking Kyrie Irving. He has a ring. Uh, skill set wise, way better. Like, that's not even a question. So, like, the eye test proves it. The accolades are going to prove it when Kyrie's career is all said and done because no matter what, he's a champion. And John Stockton was never a champion. Um, I mean, there's nothing that John Stockton has done in his career that's anything different from Kyrie's career. And Kyrie's actually won an NBA Finals series, and he has more Finals appearances than John Stockton. And if you can, if you can use the whole oh, well, Kyrie play with LeBron argument, then you can easily flip that to John Stockton and say he played with Karl Malone. So at the end of the day, like that's just how I feel about John Stockton as a player. But I'm coming with this video today because of a couple of comments that I seen when I put in the comment section that John Stockton ain't have no left. First off, dude mentioned that Allen Iverson had no left, which in a sense is true. Not the thing Iverson really did was going to left hand. A lot of the times that Iverson was on the left side of the basket, they used it for off ball movement and had him create his own shot. But that's the thing. He could still create his own shot. Like it didn't like it didn't matter that AI never like used his left hand to score a basket. As long as he could put the ball down comfortably and make a basketball play, it was fine. So, I guess where am I going with all this? Um, so, I guess where am I going with all this? I, I'm going to come with a reaction video. I'm going to react to 
I guess one of these games in particular that I could show y'all. Where it's an instance where it's playoff basketball and John Stockton doesn't get to do all the flashy running around stuff that is cute for highlights. Even though it's highlight tape, not really all that cute, honestly. And we, we're going to watch the possessions where John Stockton um, is either like scoring or doing what he does. And I guess the point I'm trying to prove here is that when I say like he didn't have a left or couldn't go left, it's more so like he wasn't comfortable doing it. Like, and it was a glaring weakness in his game. It's not like dead ass he never put the ball down with his left hand. That's what people were kind of coming at me for in the comment section. Uh, but I've already rambled for like five six minutes on John Stockton himself um so I'm gonna wrap this up right here and then um I don't know when I'm gonna do it like separately like part where like I'm just ranting and talking about John Stockton the player and then like in the second part I'm going to post like John Stockton actual gameplay footage and then discuss how I feel about it detail in detail because like I'm someone who's like seen the hardwood classics and seen all that stuff and i used to be one of these people too that like put these older players in such like a high pedestal just because they were older basketball players and like i always give the older players the benefit of the doubt back then too because if you plug them in this era and then you plug them in and i always use the it's not fair to cross era argument but it's really not fair to a guy like let's say kemba walker who Granted, I, now that he's in the Celtics, we'll see more playoff success probably, like, over the next four years. But his entire career was spent, like, in Charlotte, where he's, like, dog shit. So we can't do anything to, like, boost his legacy up on, a ba on bad rosters and bad teams. But I know for a fact that Kemba Walker is a way better basketball player than John Stockton. Like, that's, like, to me, like, that's... Not even close. Like, John Stockton could have got 20 assists a game. That's not, I'm not going to care. Like, from what I watch and what I see on the basketball court and just the multiple things Kemba Walker do to offensively. And uh, here's another thing. Like, I don't think John Stockton's defense was all like that. Yes, he, yes, he was a good defender. Yes, he was a smart defender. Yes, especially for his era. But then again... Can John Stockton guard Kemba? No, he couldn't even guard Terry Porter. So he couldn't guard Kenny Smith. So how is he going to guard the guards into this era? Like, and then that's where the defense argument is kind of like vague to me. Because, like, it's a whole new era of hoops. So, like, basically, all right, I'm pretty much, like, done with this rant because I've gotten, like, everything else. So, like, I wanted to get out. But, like, well, pretty much, I'm show like I guess I'm gonna do it in two parts. I guess this is just me ranting. Um, shit, I don't. Yeah, I guess this is gonna be me ranting, and then, like in the next video, I'm gonna show y'all the people in the comment section who were talking under uh, Trey's video or uh, not Trey's. Trey's the dude. Trey's the main dude that like pretty much like made me like want to say this about John Stockton because he was saying like wild and like people think like he be trolling a lot but like i feel like he trolls but like because he knows he's gonna get a reaction but in reality we know the deal like we know what it is so like basically i'm saying all that because like after like uh this i'm gonna react to a full game of john stockton's in the playoffs just to give y'all a glimpse of like how he was as a basketball player and how to scout him as a player um i'm going to chop it up and ever edit it and everything too so it's not going to be like literally me watching a whole entire basketball game it's going to be zeroed in on john stockton's possessions uh and then yeah uh, this that's pretty much it um who chronicle vids are still coming if I haven't posted, I don't know whether I'm posting this first or I'm posting the Hoops Chronicles first. But no, like, either way, that's coming. And, uh, yeah, it's been real, y'all. Be so the Draco. Off to y'all. Peace. Oh, yeah, actually, nah, I need to. Yeah, that's the, that's the whole the Draco thing. All right, peace.